chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff said at a Senate hearing that Google working with China is actually helping the Chinese military indirectly. So they're not working with the mm -hmm. U.S. military, but they're perfectly fine mm -hmm. helping the Chinese military? Yeah, I think they're officially working with a Chinese university, but then the question is whether all these things are sort of interlinked and connected in China in practice. Um, there's, uh, you know, I think, I think one of the ways to think about um, um, the AI technology in this sort of um, political context is that there is a there's an innovation research part where you know we need to develop new algorithms, maybe some new hardware, and I do think that that's where the U.S. is still clearly in the lead everywhere. When you build an AI research center in China, where remember China's not even allowed to operate, they're they're doing this thing there, uh, kind of in the hopes that maybe someday they'll be in China. They are directly helping the Chinese military. The people who work in that center are going to either be working for the military now or in the near future. You better believe it. There's no way that China is going to say, oh no, that came from America. We're not going to use that. China's all about using American technology. They'll steal it if we give it to them, and they'll steal it when we don't want to give it to them. Well, look, uh, Maria, China is, uh, Google's operating an AI laboratory in Beijing to attract Chinese tech talent. And we know the way the Chinese government operates. Every single employee is working for and being vetted by Chinese intelligence. Now, Ch Google is trying to reassure us, well, we don't work with the Chinese military. That's nonsense. Anything developed in that laboratory is going to flow through those employees to Chinese intelligence and be used by the Chinese military. Well, well, that's what I was trying to articulate, that there's this thing called civil military fusion, where anything, any innovation that happens in China. First, it's tested on the military because their ultimate goal is to be the number one superpower, largest military in the world, bigger than the United States. I mean, if that's the ultimate goal, of course, you're working with the Chinese, whether it's a university or a company. Ultimately, you're working with the military. I mean, it would be just as bad if this company was operating in the United States and had decided to hire Chinese nationals, which Google is probably also doing. But putting this AI lab in Beijing is a real problem and it makes it even worse because of, because of Google's left-wing politics it has stopped working with the Pentagon now we already know it is slanting its search results against conservatives but this is moving from a free speech issue to a national security issue and that's why I'm glad that President Trump wants to look into this what actual recourse from a regulatory or legislative standpoint does the federal government have to go after Google if they identify that there are these issues that they can prove well, I think Google arguing that, look, we're just running an AI lab and we're not working with the military is just laughable on the face. And I think mm -hmm. the U.S. government is going to have to be much clearer that this type of collaboration poses a national security threat because there's no way to stop this technology from going to the military. Yeah. And maybe there's a way we can bar this. Joining me now is Fox News senior strategic analyst, chairman of the Institute for the Study of War, retired four-star general Jack Keane. General, just your initial response to what Peter Thiel is talking about with Google and the potential risk of its work with China. Well, so, <clears throat> certainly that's there. I mean, I, I share his concern. Any major company doing business with China is subject to intellectual property theft. The, whether they're complicit, that's another matter. The fact that they were doing business with the communist Chinese military absolutely invites penetration by the CCP of Google's intellectual property. And I'm assuming many, many attempts uh, took place. Listen, if the Chinese communists can penetrate the U.S. defense industry, which is building nuclear-powered submarines, and penetrate that, one of our most classified programs we have in the United States, believe me, they were in a full-court press to penetrate Google. All that said, I am confident that the FBI, who's involved in counterintelligence, is already there. It's, it, while he's making a request, I'm confident the FBI has been involved with Google for some time. I mean, it's very shallow on their part just to look at a weapon system and say, I don't want to be involved in the development of that. Yet, what, yet the same company, no objection, by the way, from the same employees when Google is helping the Chinese communists military developed their capability. That is stunning, and it's outrageous, I think, and they deserve to be called out on it. They are 
directly helping the Chinese military. The people who work in that center are going to either be working for the military now or in the near future. You better believe it. There's no way that China is going to say, oh, no, that came from America. We're not going to use that. China's all about using American technology. They'll steal it if we give it to them, and they'll steal it when we don't want to give it to them.